let's go to the desert baby um it's 7 a.m in the morning and we are leaving for our desert trip today um our driver is hopefully waiting outside i think we have around four hours to drive down to the desert and then from there we are taking the quads um and we will be driving ourselves onto the white desert let's go <laughs> what i didn't know that well i think that's what it says <laughs> i don't know well hope it's it's a nice drive So we were first collected from our hotel by uh, one driver um, and he had to just drive us to the Bedouin settlement where we were going to have lunch and then be told what the trip will look like. We just uh, met um, another guy that was going to tour with us. So we just arrived at our first location, which is like a Bedouin location or settlement, uh, kind of a representative of their houses. So we'll get a bit of introduction from the host and he'll walk us through. So I would like to give you a little information about this trip to the desert, how it worked, how it's going to be through Bahria Oasis, black and white desert trip, amazing trip you come to do. Uh, so uh, welcome to this area. And I hope that you enjoyed uh, the atmosphere of the camping in the white desert and uh, you will visit the black and white desert. This personally was my favorite location where we sat down and just had tea. I think I asked like for three or four teas. Why should I open that though? Why should I open so guys we arrived at our um, camp to have lunch uh, for 12 30 so it was around four hours drive from Cairo and then um, after this we will be heading to the uh, white desert the black desert the diamond uh, desert um, and then an oasis spring as well where we're gonna um, go for a swim which I had known earlier and taken my um, swimsuit. Oh my God, look, there's a cat. Hello, beautiful. Hey, what's up? I'm looking forward to swim a little bit and then to um, be under the stars. I think that's going to be the best part. It's a bit windy, that's what I'm worried about. Um, like how windy is it gonna get during the night? And we are now the two of us. Me and Tanya, and also we just met a French guy, and I think it's gonna be just the three of us plus the driver in the desert, and we can all get like our own tent or share tent. So I think me and Tanya are going to share a tent just because I don't really fancy sleeping alone in the desert at night. Um, You heard how many Instagram followers I have. It's like, are you new to Instagram? I was like, bitch, 900 something. I'm not new, but. Later, so I can, I can uh, use it here and uh, I will move this and you can see one of you is in this table. Can you? Me sit there? Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sit here. Kindergarten style. To be more near to the food. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah, you have more space here. Oh, and, yeah. 
it's quite quite a you're the king of the desert yeah. <laughs> king of the desert yes I wish you enjoyed the desert. It's a little bit windy today, but we will try to enjoy. Yes, of course we will. Ready? Hey, how's it going? It's going good. Um, I feel like an Egyptian now. You are an Egyptian queen. Are you excited? What are you most looking forward to? I think the oasis. Yeah. yeah. But also the stars at night. Yeah. That's what it. about you? I just hope this wind stops a bit. It's like really, really windy. I'm excited. So we actually got a very windy day. Well, I would say couple of days but we didn't really know about it <laughs> until the end of the trip so we were like oh maybe this is kind of expected but no it was just not the best weather condition but apparently it got worse after we left the desert so uh, we were still a bit lucky we survived which is great uh, for the remaining of the trip we just listened to a lot of great music and uh, and experienced some cool drifting so unfortunately you can hear a little bit how windy it was there and you actually can't hear what I'm saying but I was climbing on top of the black mountains and black desert or whatever you call this dunes um, at first when we climbed out the car I thought they were joking that we have to you know go to the top but no they weren't so <laughs> we actually run up the dune in 15 minutes and just saw this beauty and i was so glad quick, i did go up quick story, let's stop <laughs> the wazis <laughs> how do we know oh dorito sweet chili pepper yes Oh, what is it? It's like um, baklava, but ah, not baklava, it's called differently. sand drifting do you <laughs> fast and furious <laughs> So here we are actually stopping in the diamonds desert and uh, he will show us like where exactly the diamonds are and tell us about it a little bit but again it was so windy so <laughs> it was nearly impossible to listen to this. Yeah. Basically whatever he was saying to us shortly is that there used to be a sea or water and then with the time like the water kind of evaporated or whatever happens and uh, this is the seabed that's left basically that's why there are crystals and that's why there is like a diamond desert kind of same thing with the white desert from what we've learned and the black desert so it's all due to kind of passages then we found there was a cave there was the tiniest way tiniest hole to get in the cave and somehow i decided to go in because there's maybe this is my only time going to egypt you know so i was like why not i will go in and i will go through although i was quite anxious about going through like tight spaces and a bit claustrophobic since i was little 
but I made it through and I'm so glad I did because it's like one of my highlights of the trip. Guys, just to let you know, I am claustrophobic and I just went through the fucking tiniest little hole and got on the other side. Check. Ooh. Wow. Guys, I'm standing inside a cave, um, so I'll just have to climb back again. We were, I was just on top of this. Wait, I'll show you. Ow. Just <gasps> took a bit longer <laughs> with the video. People in Egypt are driving like crazy, but Bedouin people, so that means people from actual desert, when they're driving to, through the desert, they have no rules. Um, so yeah, first few minutes we were scared, but then we loved it. What is up still? So Obstacle. he's driving in and then oh. all the obstacles in the way. Okay. Uh, they gave this valley this name like 100 years ago when they used to travel by camel horse. Mm -hmm. This valley is a hard one in the way, so give him this name Aqaba because it's very hard to move it, okay? And it's one of the beautiful land. Wow, if, right. if you like to take best food, yeah. you can climb a little bit here mm -hmm. to take panorama view for all the valley, okay? okay? I will go a little bit down. So the guys are setting the camp and then in some time we'll have a rare dinner and get to watch the stars and smoke sh some shisha. Uh, it's actually quite cold outside and it's very very windy today and tomorrow so um, not the luckiest of the days but it's okay, we'll survive. Um, looking forward to tomorrow and our bath in the hot spring and the cold spring. Um, yeah. Yeah. What was everyone?
Guys, we are literally in the desert right now. There's a fire beside me. Where? Oh, that way. That way. Can't see shit. Oh my god, we're just. <laughs> oh my god. about your experience so far so far it's been good we have met this amazing people that are our tour guides um, they're currently making our food while we are warming up by the fire and watching the stars and just so white folks as Tanya said and there is our new French friend hi hi <laughs> um, yeah I don't know what to say I'm just really happy what you did so far today or all day um, so we saw the the black desert the white desert the diamond hill was it no, the, crystal the, the crystal diamond hill <laughs> close <laughs> enough <laughs> the crystal mountain we drifted through the desert we sandboarded um yeah that was so fun that was so fun and yes um get up the hill again or get up the dune again <laughs> i would have done it 10 times if we didn't have to run back yeah. up the hill <laughs> oh got through like a tiny cave um, and i'm a bit claustrophobic so that was like yeah that took a lot of balls beep it took a little block that <laughs> um looking forward to the wasis tomorrow uh so we got enough to like swim as i mentioned earlier thank you for reminding myself but now i think I'm just Sorry, I thought you were talking to me. So you tell me, what did you like <laughs> the most? Um, Crystal Mountain, most definitely. That was just so beautiful. Like I didn't realize what it was going to be until we got out, and I just like seen just these rocks just covered in crystals. That was incredible. Because we were literally only buying crystals yesterday at the pyramids, so to actually see them in their raw form was just just so beautiful. Um, slide down the hill the devil sand dunes that was something that i wanted to do for a couple of years now so that was so fun i'm, I'm so happy we got to do that because i didn't even realize that we were doing that um, and yeah just being here is just so beautiful it's like you said earlier it's it's like running on that planet almost like it's just it's um, so unique to anything i've ever seen before it's just so beautiful tell us a word in egyptian happy me no the other one Thank you is Shagaron. Yes. And Macto means it is written. It's meant to be. It's written in the stars. It was written in the stars. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Closing the interview for tonight. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Ray, you want to say something? Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> So guys, this is um, like a hot spring uh, in the middle of the desert that they are using. Basically, the water is coming 500 to 600 meters deep and they are using it to water um, their crops here. And you also can see energy from the sun is being used um, and you can swim here. I'm not sure if you're gonna swim because it's very windy today. I think we're also gonna have some tea right now um, here and then we're gonna drive back to the house where we had the lunch yesterday and that's where our other driver is gonna pick us up. On a good day when it's not windy you can swim in the hot spring. Um, I wouldn't say it's very hot, you said there is like a hot spring that is more hot than this. This one is like lukewarm um, and there is like a very cold um, spring as well but you would swim there 
in the summer because right now um, you wouldn't be able to swim it's too cold also just to let you know how did the night go in the desert it was actually all right we all um, went sleeping in sleeping bags a few layers of duvets and stuff and just you know uh, it's it doesn't matter how windy it is outside it's quite um okay um in the tent so um I was able to get a very good sleep to be honest but once I woke up I could go back to bed That's, I just got one hour sleeping in the car now until we drove in here Tanya, tell us how did you sleep? Last night? Yes <laughs> It was actually good once you get asleep I mean there was a few times where I kind of jumped thinking there was something calling on me but say like <laughs> Me. <laughs> yeah, you were moving. It was like my blanket was moving, and I felt something because they were so heavy. <laughs> oh yeah, once I, I was conked out there, I didn't yeah. get up this morning. How many times did you just have to call me this morning? <laughs> yeah, that was a problem. <laughs> no, it wasn't a problem. Well, sadly, we didn't get to see any foxes. Um, well, I saw. You know, one. Yeah, I mean, like coming to the tent. <laughs> But we saw also a small rat. I'm gonna put the name of that rat later on when I find it out. But yeah, uh, it was so good. I just like caught it with the torch. Yeah. Okay. How are you today? Sorry? How are you today? I'm good. Relaxing. <laughs> right. That's cool. Wow. This is like. If you chill here during lunch time, you know, it's just like peaceful. I'm going to take my shoes off. You want I take a picture of you? Mm. <laughs> it's just a video. Uh, it's a, uh, <laughs> right, it's a video. Yeah. I think with today's face picture, <laughs> yeah, not yeah, really. <laughs> today, today landscape uh, yeah. pictures. I really like this Bedouin, Bedouin tea, <laughs> Bedouin, yeah, they drink it everywhere from very little cups, it's nicer with sugar inside, so even if you dr don't drink with sugar, this is nicer with sugar. Everything is packed. We are leaving in five minutes. This is our last breakfast. Coffee. Tanya is staying here. <laughs> I'm just gonna take care of stuff. Um, we are ready to go, but we are not really ready to go. Can we go back to Sharm El Sheikh for a few days and then go? <laughs> yeah. I think I need a bit more sun. So here came to the end our trip to Egypt and I've had the greatest time and I've met the best people there. Um, I really truly think back and remember all the great memories and I kind of just you know want to go back there sometimes just because of how great the people were and how I don't know special everything felt in that moment so we just got to the airport now and we are in terminal 2 um, and it looks like they have a different procedure, so there's chicken counters, but you're going through the 
security as um, you just come in. So I guess the big bags kind of go through security too um, for more safety. I don't know. Let's see. Just passed the passport control and now we are going to get some cigarettes, maybe buy something for living and that's it. Can't wait to be home quicker now and take a shower and just relax and get ready for Monday. We already boarded on the plane and are just waiting for it to go up. Um, we have the connection through Vienna um, and from there we're gonna have an airliner flight. So you can see that we got some food. Um, there is like dessert, bun, cheese, juice, water, um, salad. This is like chicken, I think. I'm trying to open it. Oh wow. Nice. Just flying over Vienna now. Gonna be landing in a few minutes. And then we have to run through the airport and board to Dublin. We still haven't done the check in, so um, hopefully that goes smoothly. We have to do it online and then. Um, Usually they ask now for PCR or vaccination if you arrive in Vienna, but we hope to be able to go through with the recovery test because we are not staying here, so it shouldn't be a problem. Before helping anyone else, and remember to put down your COVID-19 mask before placing a mask on nose and mouth. There is a life jacket and a pocket beneath your seat. If needed, check out the life vest, put it over your head, we are landing now in two minutes and it already looks cloudy outside. Should have just took another flight to work. Yeah. I'm not ready to go home yet. I still have a two hour and a half drive to go away. It might be even three hours if there's traffic through Dublin. Hopefully it's a direct bus I can get. I just got on the bus for Galway for 6.15 so that should take about two hours and a half so I'll be home at around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Um, the bus was fully booked so I was lucky to be able to buy a ticket because he was telling people to go on to the next bus so thanks god I just got on because I couldn't wait another hour just you know here and it seems to be pretty busy in the airport um, in general so I bet the next bus is like booked off too. But now I'm ready for the last bit of the journey. I didn't even buy any more food at this point because I'm just like, I just want to get home. Um, probably going to get my dad to collect me. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see my dog. <laughs> <laughs> 